Hey investors, I'm Jerry Roman coming at you from Phuket, Thailand, and the energy rally is far from over and winter is coming, which means energy demand will be increasing and we can expect energy prices to go up even higher. And my top pick today is up over 100% in the last year. So there is definitely money to be made in the energy sector. What are energy stocks? The energy sector is composed of companies focused on the exploration, production, and marketing of oil, gas, and renewable resources around the world. Popular energy sector stocks include upstream companies that are primarily engaged in the exploration of oil or gas reserves. The recent problem with oil companies has been extremely high expenses resulting in more cash outflow than inflow. In other words, their bottom lines have sucked. With oil and gas prices trading at multi-year highs, now is a great time to play the energy sector while it is hot and especially during winter when sales and profits increase. Today's video format is my side-by-side -side beast mode stock analysis and I encourage you to watch the entire video for my complete fundamental analysis and my top three picks. Let's kick things off today with a success story from Ignace. Thanks to you, I am up 47.8% profit on my investment in InMode in a few weeks. I wish I had bought more of it. I don't regret joining your Patreon channel for a single second. I hope you will keep on doing this no-nonsense stock analyzing for a long time to come. Well, you're in luck because that's what my channel is all about. No BS, no drama, and no hype. And if you want my daily hot stocks, custom indicators, and live live trading alerts, then check out my Patreon, which is linked down below. We're crushing it and you can too. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Welcome to my beast mode stock analysis. And today, one thing you're gonna see is that stocks cannot hide from a fundamental beast mode stock analysis. And we're really gonna see which ones rise to the top. All right, the stocks that we're covering today are Marathon Petroleum, ticker MPC, and they've got a revenue growth forecast of 47.8%. We have APA Corporation, revenue growth is 46.6%. Ontario Midstream, ticker AM, and their revenue growth is negative 9.2%. ConocoPhillips, ticker COP, strong revenue growth of 115.9%. OKE, revenue growth 51.1%. Valero Energy, ticker VLO, revenue growth is 67.6%. Simerex Energy, ticker XEC, has revenue growth of 79.6%. Devon Energy, ticker DVN, revenue growth of 89%. Targa Resources, TRGP, revenue growth of 76.3%. And RRC, which is range resources, has revenue growth of 41.3. So the first thing we notice is all of these guys have great revenue growth, and that's a really good sign. Next up, take a look at our volume increase or decrease. All volumes are increasing. Our lowest one is Ontario Midstream at 6%, and our highest one is APA at 100%. That's telling us that there is a lot of interest in energy stocks right now, and this is a great time to play that bull run. Next up, we've got the stock performance and we can see what the PE ratios are. Most of them are positive. We can see that VLO, XEC, and RRC are negative and our lowest one on the day is going to be MPC coming in at 5.2. Now, I believe that fundamental analysis is very easy when you break things down into digestible sections. So that's why I break all the numbers down, each of the sections. And our first one is the income statement. And this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. My beast mode is also color coded where light blue is the most important, followed by the green. So we'll start with the operating margin. We'd love that to be 10% or higher. And the first thing we notice here is that five of these companies all have a positive operating margin with our highest on the day being AM, Ontario Midstream at 57.54%. But we also have several with negative operating margins. And this is what I mean by stocks cannot hide from a good fundamental analysis. So right now we've got our first red flag, even though these stocks are hitting all kinds of new highs, many of them are operating with a negative operating margin. Next, let's take a look at the net income margin. And here we want these numbers positive and wow, only one of them, OKE, one OK is coming in positive at 7.17%. Our next best one is VLO at negative 2.19%. And then you can see where everybody else is coming in. And even a really big name like ConocoPhillips, they're still struggling and their net income margin is negative 14%. So hopefully you guys can see just how important it is for a fundamental analysis. And when I see these types of numbers, the first thing it tells me is I am very interested in these stocks for a swing trade, not for a long-term hold because even though the 
revenue growth is good. I like my long-term holes to be profitable companies. And right now, only one OKE is currently profitable. The balance sheet tells us whether or not the companies are financially stable. And I like to look at the total assets versus total liabilities or what I call the tattle ratio. And here we want to have that number come in ideally at two or higher. So our best one on the day is ConocoPhillips and they've got 62.6 billion in assets and 32.8 billion in liabilities. We do have one red flag right here. APA is coming in at 0.95 and that means that their liabilities, 13.4 billion, are higher than their assets of 12.6. 7 billion. So we always want that number to be one or higher. So for a swing trade, I would still consider APA, but definitely for long term or anything of that nature, I definitely want this number to be higher. And the other reason for doing a beast mode side by side analysis is because we're comparing all the stocks in the same industry sector or niche. So these are all energy stocks. And we would expect their cattle ratios to be very similar, which is what we're seeing right now. Our best one is ConocoPhillips, but everybody else is coming in right around 1.3 to 1.5. So you can tell who's normal and who's not. And APA is definitely an outlier with a bad low tattle ratio. Our next section is key metrics, and these are all very insightful to the company's overall condition. And here we want to see a lot more black and blue than red. So if we take a look at our revenue growth last year, our hands down winner here is Ontario Midstream at 14.34%. Everybody else contracted last year. Of course, 2020 was the year of the pandemic. Oil usage went down, fossil fuel usage went down. So that's to be expected. So this is really an anomaly for that type of a year, but it does hold very well that AM had a positive revenue growth last year. So they're standing head and shoulders above the rest. Next, we've got the free cash flow margin. This is one of my favorite indicators because it measures a company's ability to expand its business and pay returns to shareholders using only the money generated through current operations. So anytime this number is black or blue, it means they've got enough money coming in to pay all of their bills. So here, our strongest one is going to be XEC at 61.74%. ConocoPhillips, they're just barely positive at 0.46%. And then another one that's looking really well is Devon Energy Corporation at 28.58%. Our rule of 40 indicator is my favorite, but it's tough to use on these companies. But we can see Ontario Midstream is positive at 71.65%, also looking good over here is XEC at 27.7%. Of course, that's all carried by their free cash flow margin being 61.74%. Management effectiveness. This tells us how well management is generating returns for investors. And one of my favorite ones to look at is the return on equity. And here we can see that only OKE had a return on equity last year at 10%. And also for the other returns, they were positive in all categories. And then that brings us down to our 5R indicator. And we can see our two clear winners here are OKE at 35.1% and AM at 15%. Our last section is the growth metrics and companies should be consistently growing their business. Normally we want this all to be black and blue. Red is a bad thing. Last year, pandemic and anomaly, but this is just another example that companies cannot hide from a good fundamental analysis. So our strongest company for net income growth is AM at 65.5%. We can also see gross profit growth, free cash flow growth, and EBITDA growth, as well as operating income growth. So our number one here is Ontario Midstream. Up next that's looking okay is going to be OKE, one OK, and they had a beta growth of 6.4%. Then our last one that's got some blue on it that's looking pretty good here is TRGP. And then let's go ahead and close with my picks. My number one pick today is OKE, and they're the only company with a net profit margin that is positive. They also have forecasted rep and also their forecasted revenue growth is strong. My number two pick today is going to be AM, which is Ontario Midstream. They're the only company to have revenue growth in 2020. They've got a great operating margin and the profits will come. And my number three pick today is going to be VLO, which is Valero Energy. They've got the best revenue per share. Their net income margin is negative 2.2% and they're almost positive. So with good revenue growth this year, all-time highs, they should be popping over into the positive, and they'll only be the second company on this list that's going to be going positive, and hopefully that'll happen soon. So those are my top three picks. I hope you really enjoyed this fundamental analysis. Our question of the day is, why talk about fossil fuels when renewable energy is the future? What percentage of energy is renewable in the world? Renewables made up 26.2% of global electricity generation in 2018. That's expected to rise to 45% by 2040. Most of the increase will likely come from solar, wind, and hydropower. 
I agree that renewable energy is the future, but fossil fuels are far from dead. And if you want to fly coast to coast or to get products from one side of the world to the other, then you're using fossil fuels for the foreseeable future. And while many people may have a preference for renewable energy, there's no denying the investment opportunities with fossil fuels. What sector or type of stocks would you like me to cover in a beast mode analysis next? Sound off in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching today. And if you want my daily hot stocks, custom indicators, and live trading alerts, then check out my Patreon. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video.